everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckery Designs. This week over on my blog, I am showcasing the Shark Frenzy Bundle from the 2021 Spring Catalog from Stampin' Up. This is a really cute stamp set. And what I, one thing I didn't notice when I first bought the stamp set were all the little accessories that you can stamp to go with your um, sharks. So I actually think maybe we'll add on even a couple more things. Um, truly, as I <laughs> played with the stamp set, it's like I found more and more things I hadn't noticed. So let's get started. We're gonna do lots of cutting, lots of stamping. Let's stamp our little sharks first. I used the sentiment, I love you, mommy. Mother's Day's coming up, so I thought this would be a good card um, for somebody to give their mom. You could make it for maybe um, a grandchild to give their mom or a neighbor or friend or cousin or whatever and then they could sign their little name inside. Wouldn't that be a cute little keepsake? All right, we're gonna stamp Mommy Shark outline in Memento Black. Then I'm gonna stamp Baby Shark, Memento Black also. Now, at this point, you can color in with Stampin' Blends. You could do watercolor, whatever you wanted to do. But if you wanna do any of that, the stamp set comes with the fill-in stamp. Isn't that cute? Awesome, so easy. So you can just stamp the color right inside. Now, if you have a hard time lining these, these guys up, get out your Stamparatus, it'll make it so easy. All right, so that's Pacific Point. And I'm gonna add the little necklace to Mama. We'll put it down here under her teeth. I'm gonna do that in Memento. Uh, this time I'm also gonna add, there, this is like a little <laughs> lipstick uh, stamp right there. How cute, a little half heart kind of on her lips. Um, and then let's see, I think that's all we need to um, stamp here. Let's stamp a little bow for the little girl. If you want this to be a little boy, leave off the bow. Um, I believe there's a little suit and tie that you could add. And did I pull out, yeah, let's add a little purse too in Flirty Flamingo. Flirty Flamingo ink, Flirty Flamingo cardstock. Okay, now we're gonna do a lot of cutting. Um, these dies have some edge dies, which we're gonna use. This one for the water, for the two water backgrounds. Um, it also has this that you could use down here, but I wanted to use some new dies that are coming out actually next week. These are the basic border dies, here they are. I'm gonna use this one for the water the bottom water edge, the white edge. I've got to remember to stamp my sentiment on there before I put that on. Hopefully I can remember to do that. Um, okay, so we've got the bow and we've got the purse. We've got baby shark and mama shark. Now we're also gonna do some bubbles and let's move that ink out of the way. The bubbles you can see are real skinny. So what I'm gonna do is take some of our adhesive sheet and put it on the back of this white so that I um, don't have to use adhesive and make a mess because I will definitely make a mess of this. So this is our, these are our adhesive sheets and I've got a piece of whisper or basic white. It's not called whisper white anymore, basic white. I'm gonna put that on there. This is how they come six by 12. And I just like to cut off what I need and leave the rest there for later. Okay, there we go. And we're gonna use these bubbles right here. All right, I believe we have everything. I have got Knight of Navy and Pacific Point for our water. Um, make sure you hop over to my blog. Uh, there is a PDF for this project as well as two other Shark Frenzy projects and it'll have all those measurements that you need. All right, let's start here with our white bottom water piece. And then the next layer up is the Pacific Point piece. And this piece, your water, you can make it go up, down, whichever way you want. Um, we'll do the Knight of Navy a little bit different so that they, are, they aren't exactly the same. All right, so we've got those. And now let's bring over the Knight of Navy piece. And this time, I'm gonna make it go up. Um, let's see, while we're here, I think we could fit in that and possibly 
we can fit in, those are the bubbles. We could fit in that little purse, so cute. And that bow, you gotta turn that bow die until you find the right fit. You gotta go, it's not symmetrical is what I'm saying. You've got to turn it to find the right side. Okay, here we go. It's always like a puzzle for me. How many pieces can I get on here at once? Okay, there we've got that one. And we've got this one, which we'll have to snip off just a little bit. Let's put these dies back on my magnet because I am notorious for losing my dies. All right, let's move that and that. We've got our water and water. Last but not least, the cute little sharks, mama and baby. Turn, turn, turn until we find the right fit. There we go. If you're worried about your dies slipping around, moving, which happens sometimes, um, we don't have a magnetic platform right now. We had one that just didn't work well, so Stampin' Up! pulled it. They're working on improving it. But for the time being, you can use something called post-it tape. It looks like this. I actually have a link to it on my Amazon tabs at the top of my blog. It's like a post-it note, the stickiness of a post-it note, but it's tape, which is fantastic. So it works really well. All right, I believe I have all my pieces. Let's see, we're gonna pull that off, get all of this out of the way. And let's see if we can get this out with our die brush. It's gonna be stubborn. There we go. Okay, so we're, we've got a couple of bubbles. I think I'm just gonna use those two bigger ones. Now, I didn't wanna to forget to stamp the sentiment before I put it on the card. So let's do that right now. I'm gonna use Pacific Point ink. I love you. And mommy. There we go. I like that font, it's cute. It looks like a little kid font. All right, let's get our card base ready. I did a couple of things on the card base so that it wouldn't just be boring white. I'm gonna use one of our blending brushes and the Pacific Point ink. And I'm gonna get some ink on here. I'm gonna start over here getting off a little bit so that when I set this down, it doesn't leave like a hard edge. And I'm just gonna kind of go around in a circle. And I don't want it to be real dark or anything, just kind of, you know, a little bit of color in the background. Let's see, I'm gonna get a little bit more on the edges. There we go. Okay, that's plenty. Now I'm gonna take my Knight of Navy, whoops, stamp and blend, and I'm gonna use the brush tip point to flick on some ink. And now we are ready to layer these up. We'll start with the Knight of Navy, and we'll put that right down here. This is just a basic white card base, um, half a sheet of cardstock. You cut it and uh, in half. You cut you cut it down four and a fourth, you know, on the eight and a half inch side. What am I trying to say? <laughs> and then you uh, score it in the middle at five and a half. Just a half sheet of cardstock. You could also do it the other way. Cut it at five and a half. All right, now here's our uh, Pacific Point piece. And then I think I'll use dimensionals for our white piece. Let's see, I am on the last few dimensionals on my sheet. Okay, we'll put that right there. Now for our sharks, let's bring over Mama. Again, I'm gonna use some dimensionals. Let's see, let me get a new sheet. Okay, and I kind of tucked her underneath a little bit like that. And then our baby, I'm gonna put her right here, looking at mama. Now we've got the little bow, and we're gonna need a mini dimensional for this. 
okay? And we're gonna put that right up there. Whoops, don't cover her eye. I know my girls, sometimes their bows were so big it looked like it was covering their eyes. Oh, I miss those days. And they were so cute with their big bows. Now they're teenagers. <laughs> All right, give mama the little purse. Okay, now remember we put adhesive sheets on the back. So all you have to do for these bubbles is peel off the back. And it comes off pretty easy. And you know what? I did use this other one, this tiny one on the other card. Let's see if my nails will let me peel off that back. Yeah. All right. And last but not least, we're going to add some twine. And I'm just going to tie it around the fold in the card. Make it pretty easy. And we're done. Now, another thing you could do is you could cut another piece um, of one of the blues, you know, using a water, the water edge, and put it on the inside and make it a pocket so you could put a gift card in there. Wouldn't that be cute? All right, hop over to my blog, grab that PDF, and get this card made in time for Mother's Day. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.